Hi guys, Assalamu alaikum to everyone out there. Uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Hira Akil and you are watching me on Alam Mode. So, you know, this video is a very, very special video because in this video, I'm going to share with you all my Ramadan routine. Now, about Ramadan, this month is a very special month for, uh, for us because, you know, in this month, we pray, we fast and uh, it is the month of blessings. It is a sacred month and it is a chance to get closer to Allah like whatever you want to ask whatever you want to pray you can pray in this month and he's going to bless you with that like this year it is different because uh, in rest of the Ramadan like till now we used to do get togethers iftar parties and we used to go for shopping and all like Ramadan shopping eat shopping and things so it is a quite exciting for all of us and then we meet our relatives we meet our friends we invite them them for iftars and all in Eid also we do invite them so but then this month this time we are not going to do so we are not able to go for people are not going to each other houses just because of the pandemic because this situation is really really critical uh, yeah this is uh, different and quite upsetting also for all of us so i just wish that this pandemic ends soon and everything gets to normal as soon as possible so let me begin with the video let me just end all this topic and let me just get into the video like the so now what i'm going to eat today in suhoor is like i'm going to eat hmm, what i'm going to eat let me share it with you all so here you can see I'm going to have cut along with granola granola contains nuts raisins oats which are rich in micronutrients vitamins and minerals curd is going to neutralize the heat produced by the body because of the empty stomach so it is going to help in digestion and watermelon is going to maintain the water level in my body so it is going to hydrate me so this is a very healthy option for sahari i try to avoid oily food and salty food as much as possible so in the morning i shared my suhoor routine with you all now is the time of this ibadat khana this is a very special corner for me and I decorated this corner, this Ramadan, just to emphasize the importance of Ramadan. Because you know, uh, this month is very special and everything that is related to it should be very special. So I decorated this and like whenever I read Quran, whenever I offer namaz, so I just do everything in this corner and it makes me feel so special, like I become more close to Allah my daughter will be of three years next month so i just wanted to for her to know the importance of ramadan and yeah she was really very happy happy when i was decorating this corner yeah you know she was continuously asking me mama is this allah and i told her not to touch anything so she told me also that mama don't touch anything and she's so happy to see this and uh, you know everything is very special for her so i'm doing this for her also so now it's four o'clock in the evening and now i'm going to make a star for my family and I'll just take you to my kitchen and I'll share some of the iftari thing that I'm going to make and then show you. So here you can see I'm preparing the iftari. I'm making white sauce pasta along with garlic bread. Today I'm not making any fritters and all because I just try to avoid oily things and I keep it alternate days because you know fritters is also a must for iftari but then i'm avoiding this right now i'm making mango halwa for the iftari it is a must try halwa so you can see the iftari table i just love to decorate my iftar table 
dates are a must on the iftar table because you, it's sunnah to break your fast with dates and ruwabza is also a must in ramadan so now i had my iftari i have offered my salah also now i'll just go into the kitchen and clean up the mess that i have made while making the iftari so after that i will just take a cup of tea and uh, take a little nap just to get refreshed and then i'll think about the dinner that what i'm going to make so at last i wanted to list some points that you need to keep in mind just to make your fast easier so number 1 is avoid oily food i try to avoid oily food as much as possible in suhoor because you know it uh, makes you more thirsty second eat fruits that are more hydrating like watermelon coconut water melons uh, veggies that are more hydrating because you know they are going to maintain the water level in your body because you know you can't drink so much of water in such a short span of time so it's better to hydrate yourself with the help of fruits and vegetables third try to drink as much water as possible after the iftar because you know you need to maintain the water level in your body at least you should drink 2 liters of water eat dates uh, in the suhoor and in the iftar time because you know it's sunnah to eat dates and it is going to maintain the blood sugar level in your body take power nap when you feel when you that you are exhausted because you know that is going to make you refreshed and boost your energy have a healthy suhu like eating granola porridge muesli or curd uh, so it is going to make your stomach full and boost your energy level spend your time in praying and reading quran so with this i take your leave see you all in the next video Have a happy and blessed Ramadan. May Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala make it easy for you and guide us all to what pleases him. Bye bye. Take care. Allah Hafiz.